going to get to some breaking news now. I want to go back to NBC's Leanne Caldwell. Chuck Rosenberg is with us, too, because, Leanne, listen, we talked about it at the top of the show. More subpoenas coming from the January 6th Select Committee. They are out, and they relate to names that I know you and our viewers know. Talk us through it. Yeah, absolutely, Hallie. So new batch of subpoenas have been released, and there are names that we know about, including Kylie McEnany. We also know her as the press secretary for the former president. She was at the podium every single day, including uh, Ben Williamson. He is someone who was a uh, was a top aide to uh, uh, Mark Meadows, the former president's chief of staff, and his former communications director as well. We're also getting them. Uh, Stephen Miller is also on this list. We know that Stephen Miller has been one of the former president's longest and most loyal advisors. It says about him that he his efforts to spread false voter information about alleged voter fraud in the November 2020 elections, as well as efforts to encourage state legislatures to alter the outcome of the November 2020 election by appointing alternate slates of electors. Um, so those are just three of the, and this just came out, of the dozen, I, yep. 10 who uh, were it's just 10 people, released. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me go through the names. I'm going to just set the scene here. So you see her on screen, Kaylee McEnany. You know that face. She is yeah. the former White House press secretary for former President Donald Trump. She has now been subpoenaed by the Select Committee. I'm going to read you the other names. And again, this is all coming into us from the committee as we speak. We're going to talk through who they are, and then we'll talk a little bit more with Chuck about what this means. Nick Luna, who is uh, the former, basically, personal assistant, body man, if you will, to former President Donald Trump. The committee says he was in the Oval Office the morning of the 6th when the former president was on a call to the then vice president, pressuring him not to certify the results of the election. Molly Michael, somebody else who is in the, you know, sits in the inner circle, the, the close to the Oval Office, close with former President Trump, she's been subpoenaed. Leanne mentioned Ben Williamson, who was kind of the right-hand guy to Chief, uh, Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, Chief of Staff at the time. Chris Liddell, former White House Deputy Chief of Staff, also subpoenaed. He had reportedly considered resigning on the 6th, but stayed after what the committee calls a great deal of persuasion. John McEntee, who used to be the, the White House personnel director, apparently, according to the committee, involved in some conversations related to the former president's push to continue to deny the results of the legitimate election. Keith Kellogg, then Vice President Pence's national security advisor has been subpoenaed. Stephen Miller, Kaylee McEnany, Leanne talked about both those names, Cassidy Hutchinson as well, special assistant to the president for legislative affairs, and Kenneth Klikowski, former senior counsel to the assistant attorney general, Jeffrey Clark. And that's interesting because we know that Jeffrey Clark um, has been called in front of the select committee already. I don't know if Kelly O'Donnell is with us, but I want to see if we can try to get her back to a camera because uh, she and I had covered these, these figures for many years in the Trump administration. Um, but Chuck, let me go to you. Listen, this is another batch of subpoenas, not altogether unexpected that we would be seeing some of these names called to the carpet in front of the select committee. When you take this batch of names, and again, Stephen Miller has been somebody who was right by Donald Trump from the very beginning of his campaign days, right? In case you forgot what he looks like, that's his picture. Chuck, talk about the significance as you see it of the names that are out now and what this says to you about the investigation. Right, Hallie. Well, as you just said, uh, Stephen Miller was right by the president. Yeah. These folks seem to have in common is that they are near and around the president. And so as the committee tries to develop the most historical um, and accurate record it can of what the president did, what he knew, and when he knew it, to quote Howard Baker, the former Tennessee senator, um, they need to talk to these people who were in the White House, around the White House, talking to Trump, feeding him information about um, the election, encouraging him either uh, to contest Joe Biden's clear electoral victory uh, or to accept it. We'd like to know what these folks said to the president and what the president said to them. And so, you know, Leanne said earlier, and it was a really important point, that more than 100 people, I think she said 150, have already been interviewed by the committee. The committee has thousands and thousands of documents. They have a ton of information. But what they really need to know is what the president knew. And the way to determine that right. is to talk to people who are around. That's what they're doing. That's what they're trying to do here.